Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and something a lot of people don't actually realize you can do is you can actually add video content into a scene on pretty much any object. And this becomes quite handy for things like televisions or big screens or anything that's in your game. So if you've got maybe a house going on and you want the television to be on, then you can actually use a video to make it seem like that television is doing something. So I have this scene that I have from the asset store, it's just like a quick morgue scene with this little sort of screen I have here. And the video I'm going to use is just something I use for uh, the other channel that I do. Um, so it really is very easy. So the main cube here is going to be the fact that I can add the video to it. And rather than add as a material, it adds it as a separate component. So if I drag and drop this video content onto this object, you'll see it creates the video player component. And this is quite handy because you can now control the actual video content more than you could with pretty much a, a normal video editor. If I were to press play now, it'll also play the sound on that screen. There we go. So you can see that is a video playing right there in our scene. It's actually really cool. And as I said, we can actually loop it. We can override the playback speed so we can do it quite fast so you can see how this is going to play out now see so you can control it with that and it, it i cannot believe how easy and simple it is to add video now in all honesty guys i'm not sure if this actually works for older versions of unity perhaps unity 4 unity 5 uh, the version i'm using for this in particular is 2018.2 and I know it does work in earlier versions because I've tried it in 2017.3 and it worked in that. Uh, but yeah, it, if you've got the up-to-date version of Unity, it really is simple. And you could do it, just if you wanted to, why you'd want to, I don't know, but on pretty much anything. So we have this right here, the floor. I've just dragged and dropped it onto there. And there we go, it now plays on the floor with the actual rendering of the texture of whatever, oh, sorry, the material of whatever is applied. So if you wanted to have that old grainy kind of look, you would just use a texture on a material and apply that as well. And the video would kind of mesh together. And that is how you can actually apply video content to any object, literally any object that obviously has a mesh on it uh, in your scene. Guys, thank you very much for watching.